Hi there, Perfecto De Castro here and welcome to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. We are still coming to you from 42 Gear Street here in Germany and right beside here in the studio with me is the great Paul Davids. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, Hello, everybody's Washington. favorite request when I told them that uh, I was going to Gear Street, everybody in unison just said, do a video with Paul. <laughs> really? And we are doing it. So, oh, that's cool. Yes. Thanks. Awesome. That's really awesome to hear. Uh, I really appreciate it. And uh, it's thank fun you. hanging out with you anyway. So I'm, <laughs> thank you, thank you. I, I'm down for this. We just shot an awesome video for Paul's channel. And if this comes out before it, you're in for a treat. If you have seen it already, it will be linked somewhere. <laughs> yes. And that way you can enjoy us twofold. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they should definitely. Yeah. Yes. For this video, I want to pick your brain a little bit. Yes. And let's uh, talk about arpeggios. Cool, yeah, yeah. I love arpeggios. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's such a beautiful sound, and you can go in so many directions with it. Uh -huh. It's so versatile, and they are everywhere on the neck. So yeah. the more arpeggios you know, the more you're killing it. Awesome, <laughs> awesome. So let's take it maybe two or three levels. How would you start getting into arpeggios? Yeah. So th the basic thing about an arpeggio is that you have to understand where it comes from. An arpeggio is just the chord played in loose notes, separate notes. Mm -hmm. So if you start out playing one chord, the best way is to actually treat it in one octave first. Okay. So only like a small range from low to like medium low. Mm -hmm. So let's say we're playing, name me a chord, your favorite chord for now. My favorite chord, uh, G, since we're in Germany. G, Yeah. all right. So there's G major, just a, the first thing I find playing comfortable in G is this. Ah. So over here. So my pinky is starting on the A string fret 10. Mm -hmm. That's the G note, the root note. Okay. Then my ring finger is playing the major third mm -hmm. fret 9 on the D. And then the index is going to the G string fret 7. Mm. And that's just one octave. Or n not, not even. even. Not even. But we're going there. Because ah, there's the fret, octave. Yeah, fret number 8 on the B string. So this is basically from the C-shape chord. Yes. Everyone that knows the C-shape knows this exact chord. Yes, this shape right here from yeah. on the bottom. Exactly, and you, if you like, play it without the index finger, if it's possible, you can slide it up to fret 10, put the index finger on fret 7, and there you have it. Okay. But now you just play the notes separately. Let me try that. With yes, this patch, it sounds, it sounds really super, nice too. Yeah. So, and indeed you started playing down as well, so that that even gives you more notes, up and down. It's okay. always more notes, so, you know. More notes, the better. <laughs> more notes, the better, right? that's, that's the thing. Okay. And you can add one below it, actually. So if you play fret 10 on the E string, okay. you can. Ah, okay, let me try that. to always start on the root note of an arpeggio. That's mm -hmm. like what everyone always does, but actually it's so much more versatile if you learn arpeggio starting on any note. Okay. So if you like start the arpeggio of G over here on the index finger, fret seven, you can also go up from there and try. Okay. It's also a G chord. So it's basically the D shape right now, or the top of the C shape. Yes. It really doesn't matter how you see it, it's the same thing. Yeah. Fret seven on G, eight on B, and seven on the high E. Okay. And then on the high E we go actually to fret ten as well. To okay. The D note. So it's all it's still the same chord, still G major. There you go. And that is your more than more than an octave? Yeah, so now we're expanding chord shape a little bit higher, but you can see it as like separate things, like the one we just played. Yes. Or this. Okay. But you can also combine them. So that way you play like the six string full arpeggio, like uh 
Ah, okay. Let me try that one. Very That's nice. It. Yeah. Very nice. Now, how would you apply this? Okay. So this is a major chord. Mm -hmm. And a major chord is just three unique notes in one octave. And one thing I like better is making it a seventh chord, actually. Okay. And a seventh chord means we're adding one note in that sequence. Okay. So that just gives us a little bit more notes because we're very soon at the top. Yes. And then you have to go down again. Like, yes. no, no, we need one more note. So if you, for example, play a major seventh chord, you would add the note below the root. Mm -hmm. So the G, and then one note below it. Okay. That's a great note to start at, actually, as well. Like, And then we're approaching the root, but we're going one lower, fret seven on the B string. And you can, that's such a lovely pattern. Yeah. Go diagonally, but maybe we can, we can, we can yeah, 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 yeah. explain it later. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we can try it. Okay. So you start off at nine on the A string, and then go to ten, and then play the same thing, but then play seven on the B, okay. and then the octave, and then okay. finish it off with the top three, and back down. Back down. Oh, ah, there's there you yeah. go. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Nice. There we are. you ask me how do we use it yeah this works great on an E minor chord okay. uh. yes it's very it? nice very yeah nice. it's very technical but we add the ninth to the like yeah. E minor seventh and then even a ninth in there yes yes E minor ninth these are little hacks actually People say like oh, you shouldn't cheat or something, but this is actually a sort of cheating. But it's 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 a good kind of cheating because you're just using one thing and you're using and the same thing in multiple yeah. different places. So it makes you such, so, well, so much more. Well, you're making now. the most out of it. It's yeah. yeah. It's, That's you know, the thing. Get, yeah. Getting your money's worth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You learn one thing and you use it in ten yeah. places and yeah. you become like. And that and it. that gives you the most value too. So yes, yeah. yes, yeah. yeah. Now I do have to mention that we are all keeping ourselves safe right here during 42 GS3. Before coming to the event, we have all been given a clean bill of health. You know, we've been vaccinated. We all tested negative. That's why we're able to hold this event without any plexi shields or masks or anything of that sort. So if you're not vaccinated yet, please consider uh, doing so, so that we can all help this global situation that we're in right now. Really quickly, for those who are confused by the, the seven, the one, the three, yeah. and the five, it is basically the notes of a scale. Typically a scale has seven notes, and instead of playing all the notes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we are skipping notes. We are playing one, the third note, the fifth note, and the seventh note. And this is the sound of the major seven scale, as Paul just beautifully played and yeah. taught me. Yeah. Especially this part. I really like this part. That's nice, right? And yeah. you know what the cool thing is, actually? So we now learned the major seventh arpeggio. Mm -hmm. But I, I know a little bit of music theory, and I know that a seventh chord, a G seventh chord, for in the blues, for example, mm -hmm. That's down the loop. Yeah, like the reverb a little bit down. Yeah, like <laughs> move, move a little out of the key. <laughs> so, and I know that there's only one note difference between the major seventh and the seventh. So, in a blues context, I can use the same exact arpeggio, change only one note a half step lower, and we're killing it. Okay, okay. so. I talked about the seven, yes. which is a half step below the root. Yes. No, but now we move it a whole, a uh, whole step below yeah. the root. Yes. So if you play the blues shuffle, for example, okay. I can. Yeah, I'm implementing yeah. a little more ideas, but. You know, uh, I wouldn't per se play this shape right now, but the thing is that uh, all these shapes are just minor differences create 
totally new things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because this also ties into what I was playing before. Like I was playing the G major seventh uh, diagonally, uh -huh. and when I play a G seventh, I would play it diagonally, like prefer. Like, I would okay. Play, that would be my oh, shape. Oh, okay. Like uh, that's way more comfortable. Show, show me that one. Show yeah. That. Okay. So let's just for reference start on a G again. Mm -hmm. So, and then just to add it, we can go down. So a whole tone. Yeah. Now we go up. Major third. Major third. Fifth is on the same string. Okay. So just one, three, five. Exactly. And now we play the flat seven. On yeah. the third string. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Play it up and down a few times if you're learning it, so that really helps. Like. Okay, keep going. He's got it. <laughs> That's good. Anyway, okay. And then we can move up from an octave like G, G to B. To B? Yeah. For 10 on the E string, D. And then the, the flat 7 again. Flat 7. And if you wish. Yeah. If you're feeling lucky. Oh. <laughs> yes. You can embed it. We're yeah, in the blue exactly. snap. Yeah. So Whoa, these are heavy strings. Oh, oh right, right, right. What's on here? Maybe even 13. Maybe? Yeah. Depends. Well, what are you playing, by the way? This is an Ibanez. Art Star is beautifully made in Japan. Okay. Gorgeous tobacco sunburst, hollow body, and it's really a great guitar. Yeah. Beautiful neck. Look at the burst over here going on. Wow. There you the, go. The, yeah, the droplets. Uh, <laughs> oops. Yeah, that is really cool and loose, classy. Yeah. Like, yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. It suits you very well. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I said that before. <laughs> Okay, yeah, Very so that's, nice. that's basically my, like, yeah, my vision of, of these arpeggios. Okay, now, earlier you asked me to play the G shuffle, and you were playing the G arpeggio. That is already a hint of what kind of arpeggio you're going to play, depending on the chords that you're playing over. Yes, yeah, yeah, because basically an arpeggio is a chord, so you mm -hmm. can treat it like a chord progression, playing solos, but then using chords underneath it. So, mm. if, But also, if there's just one chord in the backing track, you can also use different chords as arpeggio yes. because I told you about the G major 7 that works well over the E minor yes, chord. Yes, yes. So you yes. can you can use that to, to, to yeah to create that mix different and sounds. Yeah, yeah. Mix, and because sometimes yeah the strangers arpeggios work over like different chords because yes. it gives you that, that lovely tension like it's basically a chord over another chord. Okay. But because the notes are loose and separate it doesn't feel like that dissonant so it can really work well. Fair for that. for example, if you play an okay. A shuffle I can play a D7 arpeggio and then oh. resolve it to A. Let's, okay. let's try. Let's do that. So, uh, well, um, let's play something funky this time. Okay, yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, so let's just first hang in A. You can play D. But oh, but I stay in A. You can stay on A. Yeah, oh, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry. Okay. Let's do that again. Oh, that was it. That was it. So I'm just, I'm just playing, like I'm sort of superimposing a D seventh chord over your A. Yes. So there's tension. People here like, oh, where is he going? And then it's landing on A chord. Yes, yes, like, yes. Yeah. Do that again. I want, I want okay, to see. So it. D over here, fat ten. That's where okay. I'm starting. Exactly. Okay, I got it. Oh, you're fast. So that's it. And just on the A chord. So. Okay. So regular G seven, uh, A seven, regular A seven. Ah, 
Yeah, that's cool. I never would have thought that. Yeah. The and D7. Yeah, that's a cool thing. Like, you can get away with a lot because it, it's loose notes. Yes. And all these notes, like, tie in to the A chord in a different way. Mm -hmm. But it's, it, it all makes sense. If you, uh, if you look at it theoretically, you can, like, get away with a lot. Yes, very nice, very nice. Okay, so that will be a lot for you guys to digest. <laughs> Thank you very much, Paul, for giving this really in-depth look and, yeah, and very pleasure. interesting look into arpeggios. Yeah. I don't have to tell you guys to go check out his channel because you're probably already subscribed to him. <laughs> but thank you so much for gracing well, my home channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, it was my pleasure to, to hang here. It's a comfortable channel. It feels very warm and natural. it's a very <laughs> chill place to be at. So he, he's yeah. made many more videos, so uh, it's going to be awesome to watch them all, all on the channel. So. <laughs> okay, do all the good things. Let me know what you think of this lesson in the comments down below. Then, yeah, we'll see you again next time. Of course, subscribe, guys. Yeah. And well, okay. <laughs> like, share, subscribe. They, they all know what to do. Yeah, they all, <laughs> but what they don't know is what guitar you're playing. Actually. Oh, right. So maybe you can like fill them in. It I looks can, great. Yeah. I'll do it. Um, this is a PJD Guitars Carry. This is handmade in the UK. Uh, semi hollow, um, single cut with an ash body, a roasted maple neck, and a. I haven't played Rose it before. Can I real so, quick, like check it out? Check it out. It's, yeah, it's, it's nice. different, but it's, it's very comfortable. Yeah, because these strings are a little bit heavier. Yeah. We are going to play out to you guys. You're going to enjoy the beautiful playing of Paul Davids, and uh, we will see you again very, very soon. You can grab your guitar, play along with us, or you can play along later, or just go grab your guitar and play something. You know the drill? Practice makes perfect. Here we go.